Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on indices, index notation, multiplying indices and dividing indices. As always, a special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Now this is a very, very challenging one. So if you can get this out, you're doing very well. Indices. Consider the following. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. This tells us that the number 2 is multiplied by itself 5 times. If we perform this multiplication, we get the answer 32. Using indices. The above calculation can be written in a shortened form using index notation. By the way, please note that the plural of index is indices. So, this calculation here can be written in this short form. 2 to the power of 5. This 2 here is known as the base. And this 5 here is called the index. Expanded form. Consider the calculation 3 by 3 by 3 by 3. This is in expanded form. To express the above in index notation, we have... So the above calculation can be written as 3 to the power of 4, where the base is 3 and the index is 4. And the answer is 81. Another example. If we have 2 by 2 by 2, and we multiply that by... 3 by 3 by 3 by 3, the shortened form or index notation gives you 2 to the power of 3, and this part is 3 to the power of 4. So that's called index notation. Multiplication using indices. When we are using indices and we perform the operation of multiplication, we keep the bases the same and add the indices. Remember, we saw on the previous slide that this calculation can be written in index notation like that. Now I want you to have a special note here. The 2 can be written as 2 to the power of 1 and 3 can be written as 3 to the power of 1. So, this calculation here is exactly the same as this one, where we have all these indices equal to 1. So, for multiplication, to work out this part here, the first three numbers here, you keep the base the same, so keep it as 2, because the base is 2, and add the indices. 1 plus 2, uh, sorry, 1 plus 1 plus another 1, all together that gives you 3. So it's 2 to the power of 3. The next part, which is this part here, the base is 3, and you have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So you have 4 for the index. So remember, when you're multiplying terms together, you keep the bases the same, and you are allowed to add the indices. It's a very important rule. A general rule. If numbers are expressed with index notation, and you need to multiply them together, just add the indices for all those numbers with the same bases. So here's an example. m to the power of 3 by m to the power of 4 is m to the power of 7. We keep m the same and we add the indices 3 plus 4 is 7. That's very straightforward. This calculation here, here's the w and another w. 
So we put that W there. And we add the two indices. 4 plus 2, that gives you 6. So it's W to the power of 6. Now the K. Here's a K here. A K cubed multiplied by K to the power of 5. That gives you K to the power of 8. Because 5 plus 3 is 8. Remember, we add the indices and keep the bases the same. Here's another example. 3n to the power of 2 multiplied by 4n to the power of 5. Now if you remember these numbers here, the 3 and the 4, they're called coefficients. You are allowed to multiply those two together because they're not actually bases as such, they're just coefficients, the numbers that come in front of the terms. So 3 4s are 12, so that's where the 12 comes from. You have n squared here and n to the power of 5, so here is the n there, and you add those two indices together, 2 plus 5 equals 7. So the answer is 12n to the power of 7. Now here's a good little calculation. Now let's look at the coefficients first. 3 fives are 15, there. m to the fourth times m squared is m to the power of 6. You add the two indices, 4 plus 2 is 6. y squared by y cubed is y to the power of 5. Because 2 plus 3 is 5. General rule. If numbers are expressed with index notation and you need to divide them, just subtract the indices for all those numbers with the same bases. So it's very similar to multiplication, except there is one slight difference. Now let's have a look. Now you keep the base the same. See, the m is the same. But here you have m to the seventh divided by m squared. So 7 minus 2 gives you 5. This calculation here, W and W here, so there's the W. Okay. 8 take away 2, there's the 6 there. You have a K here and a K there, so here is the K. And 9 take away 4 gives you 5. So the answer is W to the power of 6, K to the power of 5. For this calculation here, you are allowed to divide the coefficients. So 8 divided by 2 gives you 4. P to the power of 11 divided by P to the power of 6. There's your P. And 11 take away 6 gives you 5. So the answer is 4P to the power of 5. For this one, slightly more involved, 12 divided by 6 is 2. Remember, we're dividing the coefficients. Here is a y and another y, and that's the y there. 7 take away 2 gives you 5. Now here's a d, there's a d, that's the d there. 5 take away 3 gives you 2. So the answer is 2y to the power of 5, d squared. Quick quiz. Have a go at these four questions here and check through the video if you need to. Please feel free to do that. The answer to this puzzle. It is one of the most difficult puzzles. What is the meaning of the following? And the answer is paradox. Now, if you don't quite understand why that's the case, I've given you a hint here, but if you think about it, I think you'll get it. The quick quiz answers, here they are. I hope you did well with those, and it's okay to check through the video at any time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide, and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.